Hi everyone, it's Anastasia again. Welcome back to my channel. Long time no see. <laughs> um, I just put up a video the other day, you know, confirming that I did move and that I really missed you guys and I'm really happy that you stuck with me with my channel and my absence. So um, I've moved to a new place. As you can see behind me, no decoration and, and has gone on. I am still not fully unpacked. Um, with this apartment, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna think I'll do a separate video about the apartment, but the basis, basic thing is, this apartment is half the size of my last apartment and has little to no storage, like no shelving. I had a lot of built-in shelves and closets. I was even, and my old apartment, since I didn't use my dining room as a dining room, as a single person, I, I don't socialize that much. I don't, I don't cook and have people come over. I use my dining room for storage, so I had a lot more stuff than I would normally have because I had places to store it. This apartment, I don't have any place to store anything, so... Even if when I'm unpacking things, I'm like, why am I unpacking things? I have no place to put it. So that has made the process a little slower than it um, ordinarily would be. And so I will get more into that. I think I'll start just doing videos on the process of moving and, and getting all of that done, new spaces. So as you can see behind me, it's a boring background. And then in this right here, you can see that I have moved my Pilates machine from my kitchen in front of my refrigerator to beside my bed, which is not an ideal place for it either, but at least it's not in the kitchen. Okay, so let's get on to the basis of this video. Um, I had thought about just calling this video a haul, but um, in starting to put everything together, I realized that even though I didn't have it in my mind to buy things for Valentine's Day, I guess because since they're out there and it is the season, the things that I bought corresponded with Valentine's Day. So maybe this is a possible Valentine's Day haul, Valentine's Day gift giving guide, or a Valentine's Day treat haul, <laughs> I guess. Um, so um, as I mentioned in a previous video, I was doing, I was on a no buy for January because I had bought so much for Christmas and I was looking forward, you know, preparing for my move, trying to put some money aside. So I think I did pretty good. I did break my no buy and when you see what made me break my no buy, you will totally understand why I had to do it. And this is what made me break by no buy. It is this kit right here. And it's the Too Faced Better Than Chocolate Natural Beauty Essentials. Um, I just realized that I'm doing this on my iMac, which I hadn't done in a while, so everything's coming out backwards, so I'll be sure to put everything below. But anyway, so this kit, um, as you can see in this pretty box, was a Today Special Value on um, Home Shopping Network. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, okay, I'm sorry, I have to break the snow by, I have to buy it. Okay, so you open, it comes in this box, and when you open it up, it has, oops, a little sample of the Too Faced, um, what is this, cocoa powder foundation, it wasn't my color but it has a little sample there. I don't even think they make it in my shade, to be honest with you. Let me try to move this back so I don't make this video too dark. And then it comes with a little um, how-to booklet that shows like different looks that you can do with the products inside. And then what comes in the kit is a Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette, which I don't have. I'm not a big buyer of palettes, of these big palettes, because I have so many eyeshadow and it's just like, you know, you never get through the palettes. So um, the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette, the original one, it comes with a Better Than Sex Mascara in black. I haven't opened it yet because I have a ton of unopened mascaras, but I think it's really pretty that it's in the metal packaging, um, that it's pink. And it also has a little like um, sample size of the Too Faced Shadow Insurance, which I have been wanting to try this for a long time, so that's really good. And it also comes with a La Creme Lip Cream. So a lipstick, and this is in the color Nude Beach. So 
so it's obviously a nude color and it looks pretty it's coming across true to color and it looks pretty light um, it is probably too light of a nude for me and I may need to give it away so I don't want to swatch it um, but I think the packaging is cute that it's this metal anyway so I know we've all seen this chocolate bar palette a million times online I am so late to the party it's you know beyond ridiculous but you know I will show it real quick we all know what I'm talking about this is the original chocolate bar palette not the semi-sweet you know sparkles mattes all that stuff and I am wearing it today and I must say I really like it um I don't know why I was expecting not to like it, but I really do like it. And I really do like um, that cocoa chocolate smell when I use it. I didn't think maybe I wouldn't like using it in the morning, that it might be, you know, it's weird to the first. It's not a good thing, I think, especially when you're, you know, maybe dieting to start off the day with the smell of chocolate. But I really do like it, and I really do like this palette. I'm really happy I bought this kit. Okay, so let's see. And then the... So since I already broke my no buy, I was like, well, might as well keep going. And um, also on Home Shopping Network, they had a today special value, so value of the day, and it was this this Intella White Cool Blue Teeth Whitening System. And I'm going. To, I have not started using this yet. Um, I am going to um, when I start. I am going to make a video on it and review it and show you how it works. I have looked online and the reviews online. And almost every single person who purchased it loves it. It worked for them, so I'm really excited about that. But as I said, I'll do a full review on that later. And then I just have um, like a little bag over here that helps me keep track of what I'm talking about. Um, okay, so what else? I got this little Jane um, Airedale. This is the facial blotting powders. And why I got this, I like facial blotting powders. I usually use like a tissue instead of putting on more powder during the day. But why I bought this is because it's in this rose gold metal package. And, um, you know, they have the ones that are just like in the paper that come like in the cardboard little packages. And those always seem to... Um, get messy in my makeup bag or fall apart so I really liked that it was this hard metal packaging and that you could buy refills and that was really cute I got that from Nordstrom and this um well this is a mascara I can't talk wait do I have it I was say, oh I do have it okay so this is the Guerlain, and this is the, G, uh, you know, Noir G. This is the mascara refill for the Guerlain mascara. So I had had, um, it comes, you can, I guess when you buy the full thing originally, it comes with this, um, with this, you know, heavy mascara. It, like, opens just like the Rouge G lipsticks, how it flips open with the mirror. And then you untwist the mascara and out comes the wand. And as you can see, it's just a pretty basic wand, not especially thick. It doesn't have any particular wave pattern or anything like that in it. But I have just started using it this week, and I really, really like it. The mascara is really nice. It feels like creamy, and then you can build it, and it's nice. Um... But the interesting thing about it is that you get this neat little metal case and that you can buy the refill separately. I bought this refill, you know, a while ago during that Nordstrom mascara thing, um, two for one thing. But I had never used it until now. And I must say, I really, really like it. This mascara I know is super expensive, um, but I would say that it's worth it. I ended up getting the case for free from a friend of mine, so I only had to buy the refill. But if I was to purchase it all, I would do that. So I highly recommend this. It's really luxurious and nice. Okay. Also on Home Shopping Network, as you can tell, I went a little crazy on Home Shopping Network. There is a brand on there called M Asan, Asam, M and then A S A M. And um, they're from, it's a skincare company from Germany. So this is the perfect tint 
too, and this was like in limited, uh, limited edition packaging. And it says that, um, it says, um, reduces the appearance of wrinkles. The smoothing texture settles in lines and wrinkles, making them appear diminished. Your skin looks satiny, having a flawless looking radiant complexion with a matte finish. The, the way they advertise this online is that it's one of those things that you put on your wrinkles and all of a sudden your wrinkles disappear. I, it does not do that. I don't know how they make it look like that on TV, but in real life, it doesn't do that. Um, when you read the reviews, everyone says it doesn't do that. So they're not very happy that they've been um, touting this as a miracle wrinkle cream. What it does do is it makes an amazing um, uh, makeup primer. It feels exactly like that hourglass um, makeup primer, that hourglass primer where it's like you put it on your skin and it um, goes to like a powdery finish and it makes you matte and it fills in all your pores. So to me, it is a winner because this whole, this huge container, um, 70 mils, 2.36 fluid ounces was only $30, I think, something like that, $24 or $29. It comes in this really nice packaging and it totally keeps me matte all day. It does have a perfumey smell. It has a strong perfumey smell. So far, I don't feel like it's broken me out or anything or that my skin has reacted to it. But I mean, for makeup primer, it is, oh yeah, it is definitely a winner and I'm very happy that I bought it and I would purchase it again. Um, okay, so I went to dropped into Sephora a while ago and I bought this Boschia. It's the makeup breakup um, cool cleansing oil, which I'd never tried before. I'd seen a million times on YouTube and I was like, one of these days I'm going to try it. I did try it. I like it. I don't find that it, um, that it gets off your mascara, your eye makeup any better than any other cleanser. Um, and that because it has that minty cooling thing in it, if you get it in your eye, it can be irritating. But I mean, I liked it. I just didn't think that it was worth all the hype that it gets as far as removing your makeup. I mean, I guess it works, but I like that tingly feeling, but I, I don't think that I would repurchase it over any other makeup remover. Okay, so... I guess, and this is going now, it'll get closer to going along with the Valentine's Day theme. Um, I bought the Viva Glam Rihanna off of MAC online because they sent one of those things like, um, you know, get it before it's discontinued. This is your last chance. And I was like, well, I didn't buy it before. It's for charity. I usually try to purchase, you know, the lipsticks that come in special MAC bullets. Um, so I thought I would go ahead, you know, like the specialty color, not just the black bullet. So I thought I'd go ahead and get it. And I think they're still selling it. It didn't go away. It wasn't a last chance. It's still on the website. It's still everywhere. So you got me, Mac. You made me buy something that I wasn't going to buy because you told me it was going away. But it's a pretty color. We, I think, you know, probably everyone's seen it before. It's, um, it's red, obviously, with like a shimmer in it like a pink shimmer. I think this is, what is it? They're saying it's a frost. So it's a, it's a red with like, you can, hopefully you can see like an iridescent shimmer, but it's nice. I just said I have so many red lipstick lords to know the last thing I need to do is to be buying another one, but it's really cute packaging and the money goes to charity. It's Viva Glam. So there you go. Okay. So the next thing, um, this I found at Nordstrom Rack. If you have a Nordstrom Rack or, you know, you normally don't shop there, um, they have a lot of, like, makeup. They sell makeup also. I think it's, like, discontinued items or overstocked items. So sometimes you can find some good things there. And I always wanted this, but the original price, this is the Too Faced Sweetheart Beads in the ra it's Radiant Glow Face Powder. I'd always seen this, and I always wanted it, but I just thought it was way overpriced. It's, like, originally $32.00. Yeah, the original price is $32, and I know this is backwards, but if you can see there, it was $32, and at Nordstrom Rack, I got it for $9.97. So for $10, it made sense to me, I bought it. And what it is, it like it looks like, you know, the Guerlain Pearl, so it comes in this little cardboard container, which is really cute. Pink with gold, and it looks like kind of antique -y. 
it has like a little powder puff, a really, really cheap one. It's just not even a powder puff. It's like a foam holder. And then on the inside, it has like the multicolored kind of like pearls. And what's really neat about it is that the pearls are, instead of them being round balls, um, they're heart shaped. Focus, as you can see, they're little heart-shaped pearls. And um, so it would be used as a highlighter. So I thought for $10, that's worth it, that's cute. Also from Nordstrom Rat, I got um, a roller ball. This is the DKNY um, Be Delicious and the Golden Delicious. So it's like that apple scented one. I've always wanted to um, try this fragrance, but I didn't want to purchase a whole bottle to me. It's just not, most of my fragrances are very high end and um, I just don't consider it, this DKNY fragrance to be very high end. Like, I don't know, but it has a very unique smell that it has that green apple sweet smell. And every time I smell it, I like it. So I thought the roller ball is perfect that I have a little bit. So it has the original scent and then the golden scent over here and I can throw it in my purse. So that was really neat. Okay, so Nordstrom got me. I was trying not to buy another palette, but I did. And um, I had it for triple points, so it worked. So this is what I got. This is the YSL Couture Palette Heartbeats Edition, five color, five color ready to wear. And this was li this is limited edition. I believe it is still available on um, Nordstrom. And this is basically, it's a re-promote um, for, it was a re-promote for Chinese New Year. Last year, they did a blush that was a, pro, a special promotion for Chinese New Year that was only sold in Hong Kong. And let me tell you, I drove myself crazy trying to find it and purchase it. I would have, I almost paid $100 to just get this blush from a random third-party seller sent from Hong Kong and I was like I only because of why the packaging because I love that special limited edition packaging because the blush inside was the same old blush that they sell every day but the packaging was different thank goodness I talked to myself out of doing that and I let it go and so this year they did a special item for Chinese New Year again which is this one and it is the um what is it the five color ready so it's an eyeshadow palette instead of a blush and then um it was funny because as soon as i you know saw it come up on Nordstrom side and i saw chinese new year i immediately purchased it and then when i got it it was when i realized that oh they're just you know it's like several hearts that are there so i guess they promoted it they released it here in the united states because they could release it as, you know, the Chinese would buy it for Chinese New Year because it's red, and we would buy it because it has hearts on it for Valentine's Day. So, you know, very tricky, YSL, good for you. So when you open it up, it's in the new, like, Mondrian, you know, pattern. And I'm going to see if I can get these colors to come out right. I think right there. Right there are true colors, and to know me is to know that these colors are not, these are not my colors. They're very light. I do like this kind of taupe shade that's down there, and like that one that's in the middle, but this like peachy shade and that lighter shade, they're too light. This is supposed to be, the peachy shade is supposed to be the eyelid base, and I just can't use that for my coloring. So once again, I have purchased a YSL palette that doesn't really suit me that I really only bought because of the packaging and not because of the product. I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. I mean, thank God I'm not married because my husband would not be having that, I'm sure. But I'm not, so I'm going to keep being that crazy woman that keeps buying these YSL palettes just because of the packaging and not because of the product. Okay, and because I had, um, it was a three points a day and I just thought I'd add in something just to, you know, get some real points. I went ahead and I got this. This is the MAC um, 217 brush that I see 
every single time I watch a video on YouTube, a makeup tutorial, someone uses this brush. I didn't have it, so I went ahead and I bought it, and it is the softest brush ever. So I am very much looking forward. I'm sorry, my camera cut out there. I'm very much looking forward to using this, so that was good. Okay, and then also a little bit more for Valentine's Day themed. I actually bought these over the holidays, but I keep seeing them in the Starbucks store, so they're still available, and I thought it wouldn't be a, little, a cute gift for someone. So this is um, a Starbucks mug that comes in a cup that comes actually in this red box, so it's perfect for gift giving. It was meant, it was part of the holiday season, but I still keep on seeing them in the stores, and in the stores, they're like 70% off. It's like insane. I think I got this for $5, and it's all stainless steel, so it's a cold cup. Let me get it out of here. I already gave a friend of mine one of these, and he was very excited. So it's red, cute for Valentine's Day. It's all stainless steel. I love how it has a stainless steel straw so that you can totally throw it in the dishwasher and it can be completely sanitary because those plastic cups that people are using and they come with the plastic straw, to me, it, I mean, they get kind of gross. I, I always end up throwing them away and it's just like, why am I buying them if I'm just going to throw them away in a couple of months? Um, and then there's also this one. So, and I, it was so funny because I bought it and after a while I was using it and it was someone else literally who told me like, oh, did you know that that's a heart on there? That's so pretty that the flowers make a heart shape, which I hadn't noticed. And it takes someone else to do that. As you can see, it makes like a heart shape. So that's really neat. And this is the ceramic. Um, what's bad? Oh, I love this cup. It's insulated. It's ceramic. It is very pretty, but it's their hand wash only, which is odd. You can't put them in the dishwasher. So, but they're still very cute. And last but not least, I had gotten a gift certificate for this store, Brighton. Um, it's in most malls and, um, they sell jewelry and I usually, I've seen it before and I usually think of it as one of those like kind of middle age woman's jewelry stores. I, even though I am, I guess, technically middle age, I don't consider myself to be. So I never shopped there even though they had cute stuff. So I got a gift certificate over Christmas. I went in to find something and I did. And it's so cute when you buy jewelry there, they come in these little pouches so that you can keep it clean. And as you can see, the little hearts there. So I thought that this would be a really good Valentine's Day gift, like, you know, maybe for your mom or or someone or, um, you know, that loves jewelry. They have like those Pandora kind of like charm bracelets there, which is what I was going to get, but I changed my mind. And so it's really cute. And I think all of this, um, they're um, kind of like a USA, kind of an American company. So it's nice to support our American companies. Anyway, so I got this necklace. As you can see, it's a long necklace. Um, I believe it's actually long. It's 48 inches and not 36. And if you can see up close here, it has like the clover design, like Van Cleef and Arpels, which is so nice. It is two-toned. It's double-sided. So when it flips, there's not a wrong side. It's a really great weight. It's not sterling silver. It's some kind of alloy that they make, but they guarantee it for life, which is insane. And then you can double it, obviously, since it's 48 inches, and it just looks so pretty. And because it's two-toned, it goes with everything. So I've been really, really happy with that. And, um, you know what? I do have something else. A friend of mine, um, I had mentioned him before that works in retail and gifts me nice things every once in a while. He gifted me that Dior um, limited edition, that huge eyeshadow palette that I showed you, that art, that artist limited edition palette. Um, if you've seen my last Dior um, collection video. Anyway, so he usually gets me makeup items, but this time he got me something amazing. I mean, it totally blew me away. It brought tears to my eyes. I'm going to do a whole video on that because it was a very large gift and it could take up a whole video. But um, including what he got me, um, he did give me a couple of, um, it's actually skincare. And um, so he did get me a couple of uh, makeup items also. And what it was he got me were 
some YSL um, nail polishes because he knows now that I'm totally obsessed with nail polish. So this is the La Lac Couture and this is in color number 22. And you can see on the box, if you can read it there, let me put it over here, that'll be easier to read. Um, it says, not for sale, tester. And that is because, as I mentioned, he works in retail and this is, this was a gift for him, so it's a not for sale item. And that you'll notice that on other things that he's given me. So, okay, so this is, um, and that is also why when you remove it, I just took it out of the box. When you move it out of the box, it does not have the gold cap that it would ordinarily have if it was a for sale regular item. So anyway, so this is number 22. This is the Beige Legere. I have not used any of these yet. As you can see, it's a nude, and it's always nice to have a nude. These YSL nudes, I think I have another one, and they're really, really great. Um, so I think this came in some kind of set, um, if I'm not mistaken. And then I have number 27, which is Noir Primitif which is just like a black, it's a glossy black, and I will definitely get some use out of this. Um, my nails aren't done right now because with this unpacking, I'm not even gonna bother until I'm done, so maybe another week. And then for this one is number nine, the Fuchsia in Temporel, and that is a gorgeous color. I cannot wait to use that. So as I mentioned, there's only one cap and then all of them have, you know, without the cap. So that makes them like tester items. Anyway, so that's it. That's more than enough. So um, thank you very much for joining me. Um, and I will be coming to you with like, you know, houseware hauls and updates on my apartment and decorating. And of course, you know, just more good old YouTube kind of stuff. <laughs> I hope you have a great night. I hope you have a great week and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.